seasonal sizzling. This is a blink and you'll miss it moment. Uh, Sue Nelson from the Yorkshire Food Finder cooking our bavette steak. Remind us of the recipes that you're doing from the Yorkshire Recipe Box. Though. Right, I'm doing bavette steak, which is going to have a tomato and Cuban vinaigrette dressing with it, and some sauteed potatoes. And I bet the smoke alarm's going to go off in a minute. Uh -huh. And then I'm doing. Oh wow! That was and then long. And then I'm doing um, the cod in a parcel with tomato and ginger and coriander. Just to explain again the bavette steak, because this is it's off the skirt. Yeah, and you you really pummeled it. I pummeled it. Yeah, put it between on a chopping board. Yeah, um, a big you know a meat board, and then I've actually put some clean pill on the top and bashed it and bashed it to flatten it and tenderise it. And it doesn't need long at all. Mm -hmm. And then all we're going to do is take it off, um, and we're going to rest it. What I think important about cooking any steak, too, isn't it, is the seasoning yeah, that absolutely. you put on it before it goes into the pan, because that's where you get your flavour from, isn't yeah, it? it is. So we're just going to add a bit more salt here, mm. like some pepper. Mm. And I would say. And it's fried that quick too, simply because you gave it a good time around here yeah. before before you put it in the uh, in the pan. And you're just checking now. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. So, okay. so that'll rest. That'll be nice rushy meat. Rusty meat. It's always rusty meat. The juices. Then you know, flow. It's much more tasty. You wouldn't want to cook into that straight away. No. So there'd be no taste to it. No. So just cover it with uh, with foil, just to keep it eating. We've got potatoes sizzling in the pan as well. Ooh. There's lots of sizzling going on, which is good. Right. We're going to do the rest of it now, which is tomato. And that's going now in the same pan that so you've had the beef, that you've had the meat in, with all the meat juices. Yeah. Right. And putting some a little bit, a bit of, of cumin. Cumin in. Ooh. Coming in. And then we're also putting in some chopped capers. And then we're putting in some sherry vinegar. Like so. And then right at the end, we're going to add. Oh, that smell. Oh, fabulous. Really, really, really simple. It's just got a nice taste to it. It will take a little bit more, actually. A bit more vinegar. A bit more vinegar. Yeah. yeah. And then we're just going to add some chopped parsley to finish it off. That's got a little bit of a salsa. This is, it is. It's a warm salsa, basically. So it's tomato and cumin, sherry vinegar, shallot. Tomato from Dooley's of Easy Will. Very good. Um, and then that is done. So that's your lot. That's the lot. So we're just going to serve. Worth a try. This one up. Right. Oh. Serving up. Serving up. Yes. Very exciting. Oh,